the sniper has been their bread and butter for quite some time. It's Thompson after all. But uh, yep, Slardar, interesting one. Smoke up from Betboom Supports. Not level six yet. I don't feel like they need it. Ooh, it's coming Thompson. in and... They're Ooh, making a wrap around on him. He's in a lot of trouble. Clockwork. He's coming in, trying to save the sniper. And Thompson, tanky. Pops the strength treads, turns around That's now. That's Tank Cartel. He's caught up onto GPK. Toronto, Tokyo, GPK dead and saved. Might follow them because Pure, the roaming Naga Siren, 10 minutes in, comes in to claim a kill. I just get a bunch of couriers as well. Observer was dying too. Let's go fight. Oh, right in on top of nine class. Batrider, well, he was ready and waiting for them, but I don't think he was ready and waiting for four. Everybody through the gate at the same time. Defend the tier one. Now in comes Miera with an RP. Thompson, half HP, trying to walk it back. White Mon, Toby, oh, being that he's purged. Nightfall into the back lines, though, along with Save and Toronto Tokyo. Thompson the trying. To go on multiple different targets, but they're succeeding at it. Two down, Thompson, White Mon, and Toby the third, as triple kill is there for GPK. Because Sniper could be potentially, that's level two assassinate, 400 damage. Well, there it is. Lasso on to save. Good target to go on. White Mon, the hook shot off the mark again. They'll flame break save, in jumps Miero, pushed by the cogs, didn't get this blink RP, but he will skewer on the Naga Siren still. Pure all so many the stuns. stuns, and Bet Boom brings so much to Tank Cardell, he disables. does have shield rune. He's a tanky fella, but this Weaver is chasing into nine class. Good cogs and the smoke gets the Batrider away from them. Nightfall being turned on, time lapse to try and dodge some of the damage. Not there just yet. And it looks like Tundra have run out of gas. Nine class gonna come back in onto Toronto, Tokyo, kill off the vengeful spirit. Couldn't finish the Weaver, though, sadly for them. And Tundra looks like they're still pressing forward in towards the mid-tier one. He wants to have Manta style on here. This this has to be, like, one of the biggest baits in terms of items that I've seen in Dota history. Where you feel like it's a good item, but it never is on a Weaver. Good skewer Sniper. back. Thompson's caught. Completely killed off. And that Deep Observer would finally being used by Bat Boom. Bait with it. Potentially for the hook shot, Blink Lasso that could come out. As soon as he picks up that Orchid, Pure starts to play aggressive, but nice oh. RP from Miero again. There's the jump. Hook shot from White Mon trying to save Pure, but he's dead already. A swap across as well. Catches out nine class. Ventral Spirit still alive, even through the Assassinate, and Tundra gonna lose three in a row. Mid tier one defended with force out of Bed Boom. Every kind of meat sack. The guy who goes up in front says, hello, break a bit of vision, go up high ground. Oh, hello, Batrider. Right onto GPK. DK. Swap is available. Good hook shot, but absolutely right. A swap out from Toronto Tokyo. Yero. Saves the DK. Four Turn seconds back on down on Blink. Lose the Ven. Shadow Demon being jumped, but disruptions there to buy a bit of time for Bet Boom to again rally around this Slardar with all their numbers and kill off Toby. Two for one. Bet Boom just not messing around whatsoever. They're getting a lot of farm. Like, they're getting a lot of items. You mentioned Agatham Scepter on Dragonite. Full Mjolnir finished on Beaver, so all those illusions. It's going to be a lot of procs. Magnus, this is the third time he finished Echo Saber. So he basically has three Echo Sabers. Can they catch? As yes, yeah. they can. Save's going to die. A little bit greedy there. I believe Save also got slept, so he couldn't save his Magnus during the BKB. And, yep. Yeah. Agatham Scepter now finished on Toronto Tokyo, so he wants to die. Like, basically, you want to swap somebody in, get your spells. He also has Shard from First Stormy, so it's going to be a lot of stuns that's going to come out. Oh, another catch, but the swap is there. Nightfall trying to scurry away from this one as Toronto Tokyo is going to show off his spread spanking you, shiny Agatham Scepter. A swap there again, going to try and move Pure nice into a position, but Nightfall is the one that's dropping. Has that Aegis, so Tundra doesn't want to commit for the kill. Just leave the low HP Weaver to his own devices and back away. Sniper speed, he almost <laughs> yeah, managed to kill Nightfall there, who's going for Daedalus. But this vision from all these illusions gives Toby another good initiation. Oh, that starts with the rocket flare, cancelling the blink and slowing the Magnus. And then they have the follow through jump. It looks like Nightfall. It's kind of hunting in this top jungle to try and find someone. Tundra are nearby. Nine class, pure. Leading up with a lasso from the bat. The swap is there. The hook shot across through the Weaver. Onto this Shadow Demon and Dragon Knight. They've blown up Toronto, Tokyo and saved. The supports disappear. White Mon's gone, but they can follow through on this. Just got to catch up to them. GPK very tanky. And the song is here. Toby wanted to blink crush, but he holds onto it for now. 
Who's the target? It's the Dragon Knight. They want to go for him first. Nightfall has the Aegis. Miro jumps in. Harpoon, but the jump back. The little grenade pushes Sniper out of danger. Miro has to RP as a bit of a safety maneuver. Now the GPK jumping damage in. They kill Pure. Nightfall looking worse for wear. 10 seconds left on the Aegis, so he's got a second life still. Toby dead to the Dragon Knight. And now the blink back in from Miro has spotted Thompson. Oh, he's going to turn and try to kill the Magnus now. The DK and the Weaver are right on top of him, though, and Bet Boom. Even after losing those two supports early on, the chain still smoked up. Dara Vision is going to see those illusions moving. Tundra very, very defensively postured back in their base. They just have to relinquish bottom tier one. Give a bit of space to Bet Boom here. Respect their advantage. Oh, nine class. He wanted to blink in, but gets swapped in, and that's a big kill. He's dead for a minute. Yeah, no Batrider means these tier two towers probably just dead. Miero attempting the jump on Pure. Not gonna land the skewer and got silenced anyway. Man, this is where Naga Siren's like right. Oh, boys. that's a big I'm... jump. Oh, what are they got some there? Help. Thompson does get away thanks to Whitemon just handing his life over. Bebu nearly had a monstrous kill on the sniper in that mid lane, and now they're pinging out Toby. GPK didn't want to continue moving forward. They want to focus on these objectives. I put you on the spot. Yeah. <laughs> Ginso side the fight. There we go. I helped you. Even, oh. even though it's an easy one, but That's a good one. heard the clap. They need to yes. contest this Roche, which they don't have the vision off at the moment. Illusions. Scouting things out. Sniper still peeping from the distance. In Toronto Tokyo just frontlining at this Venge, knowing he's pretty damn tanky. Running straight in towards the clockwork. Kill off White Mon. Might have to buy back here if they want to fight, because Thompson and Toby, they're getting caught up in this. Now I'll get Illusions are on Revenge. Dragon Knight tanking through a lot of these hits. Gonna break out of the control with his Manta style. Get a bit of distance. Toby and Pure, all oh, the song, going to stop Miero's initiation. That is super important for Tundra. Nine class. Pure is charging. You right got him. Back lines. Nine class with the lasso just taking out Miero. Nice little grenade back from Thompson to try and finish off the Magnus with the PP. He's got the job done. Two heroes taken out by Tundra, and Whitemon did buy back to chase in towards save. A blink by Shadow Demon into the TP Glimmer Cape. It looks like he's out of there successfully. The bottom lane has to be dealt with by Bet Boom. It looks like they're trying to gather up and con contemplating this next fight. High Ground Vision is there for them in their own triangle. But Tundra are starting to make this approach. Illusions pushing top and mid. Bottom lane already trending in towards Radiant side and he's oh, dead. Dark Siren. So quickly. Disappeared. Yeah. Caught me by surprise. And Pure might die a second time. The RP catches back the Naga Siren too. White Mom with a hook shot. Trying to hold the back. Oh, they're all this trapped. Damage. So much raw right click power coming out of Nightfall and GPK with the Song of the Siren. The BKB's end. Pure. Can he run away? Has he got the space? Trying to make the distance now, but he's been banished. Sent under by the Shadow Demon. And Pure will be caught out, giving this beyond godlike streak. So Nightfall's Weaver. What what stunned? Was that Dragon Tail, I guess, that stunned the Naga Siren there? I didn't quite catch it in the replay. Yeah. Yeah, rough stuff for Pure, and this means great times for Bed Boom. He has Straight no buy for 25 seconds. So that's two set of barracks. Dragon Knight with Manta style, Shadow Demon, so Ooh. many illusions. Hey. Oh, Toby jumped in. Miro tried at the same time, but he's now been lassoed up. Swap, Swap. is there, Toronto Tokyo saves him up. Miro safe and sound, while Toby might not have the same luxury. Wymon's dead. Toronto Tokyo still has his illusion up, so kind of alive on this vengeful spirit. As Tundra look to defend what's left of their base, the remnants of the buildings. One lane remains up at top. Smoking right past that dire vision. Miero. Oh, nine class. Drifts away from that attempted harpoon skewer play. Thompson. Coming out of Invis to peep out Toronto Tokyo with Toby's jump in. Whitemon to the back, looking at save. Nine class is coming as well. Shadow Demon is their primary target, it looks like. To kill him off, no buyback available. Toronto Tokyo, his illusion might be dying soon as well. As Tundra considered the chase forward, and Toby going to the back line, then finding Miero. BKB's up, RP's the slaughter. Turns on to Toby and looks to kill him off. With the DK and the Weaver, it's pretty quick and easy. Bet Boom are still in retreat mode, so finding that bonus kill is nice for them. Topson and Pure. Oh, they're trying to catch up to Miero, but he's just TP'd out in time. Oh. Amplify. Pure sending out illusions. Smoke in behind him from the rest of Tundra. Bed Boom are ready to make the jump, though. 
Nice man to dodge on the assassinate. Miero, fake pub. RP, RP. Thinks about it. Now skewer away. They've got a stun on the immediately. Oh my god! That was a Naga Siren oh, almost swap on the sniper. Ago. Has to buy back. Thompson does get away from danger after the swap now. It's trying to talk wow. on to Toby Slaughter. The damage out of this Weaver is out of this world. Thousands of hits from the crit. They found him again. Got another catch onto Pure. Kill him off. Nog is down a second time. Two minutes on the sidelines. And Tundra. I mean, they're in a 3v5 right now. Thompson, what can you do? Trying to peep them. Gets the job done on the DK. Looking at the Weaver now. Maybe with his candor assassinate. Gets a double kill. Thompson sniper. They're buying back. Oh, you better be afraid. Buyback's coming out of them now. But Nine Class is dead after his lasso play. Slaughter, Clock, and Sniper against the world. Blink Crush. Damage on to Nine Ball. Nice the save is there. Disruption out of save. Thompson in the middle of the fight. Tries to turn and fight into the Weaver. Oh, but the Aviana's feather shigooching away to safety. And now they've got the additional jump onto Thompson. Kill him off. He's got buyback, but what will it matter now? No Naga Siren. Bet Boom all alive. And they're ready to keep on going for more for the Batrider. Try and slow him down. Catch up to him with a double magic missile. Clockwork and Batrider. In and another one. Buyback. Nice play from Toronto, Tokyo. He uses this illusion. And comes back with the buyback on the spot of the illusion. Uses another magic missile because he saw the opportunity. That. Yeah, good luck, Thompson. You got a Slardar and a sniper. All up against Bed Boom. Toby makes the jump. The Toronto Tokyo is straight in there though with a swap and a stun. Keeps the sniper at bay. And now it is a one versus five. I don't think you've got it in you, Thompson. Jumped on by Miero. Dragonite comes in as well. Save is here to make it all work. And Thompson's going to die as Tundra call GG and Bet Boom. They secure their second victory in a row. Momentum's building. Bet Boom's starting to, to live up to expectations, Lacoste. 40, uh, but yeah, when you say all heroes, I was like, surely he means all cores. But no, 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 no. The lowest damage output in the game. Yeah, it didn't feel like this Naga had had much impact at all. You know, like top net worth. Three hits, we, so. Yeah, I think this is a much safer choice from Tundra. I, I do like Bed Boom's Wrath. I... Nine class going to join them. Oh, uh, no, they triangle. have his number. Pure up at top. Collapsed on by GPK save. And Nightfall with that God Strength. Converting into tower while Miero dies down bottom. A three-man stomp will not save you from the aggression of Tundra. And mirror yep. movement from both teams, basically. And immediately into the Roche pit. Uh, this should move. give them... They, they need to rocket Roche right now. This just gave them a vision exactly where they are to scan. Let's see if uh, he goes for, for some kind of a steel play. Yeah, I mean, here we go. Hook he shot, does it. He gets it. Ages, grabbed by White Mont. And Undying being harassed and hounded by Toby's Brewmaster. He stopped two TPs, what a play! Oh my god, White Mon, he catches them both! Save and GPK, stopped in their tracks, down in the bottom right corner. Backs against the wall, they'll try and rolling thunder, and they kill off White Mon, but he's got two lives! He got the Aegis! He'll come back up, GPK trying to high five, and beep beep, roll away as best he can, but in comes, all. Oh, Thompson nearly had it, but gets crashed around. Just click that, that during the fight. It's basically like placing a Roshan's banner, and then you're like, <laughs> oh, we lost the barracks. It's <laughs> a better than a banner. It was great. Everything's better than a banner. That is factual and correct. Banner sucks. Toronto Tokyo, he's been scouted, this high ground vision. Bedboom trying to play into it. Sans and stuns under the Brewmaster, but he's saved and lifted by Nine Class. He can now get the split off. No, he can't. No, no, no. Nightfall shuts it down. Rubik gonna try and run away from some zombies. Thompson, so close. Smoked. The His Agonim Scepter would definitely love to have that one, but might need to bring it mid fight. Can they bait with this illusion? Miero got scouted again. Oh, Denny! Miero got the jump stomp, Brewmaster half HP, four steps to drift away, Nightfall getting in there onto White Mon, but the clockwork surviving! The no way, he survives again! He gets away from it all! The game doesn't end until the throne dies and Clockwork is still going, guys. <laughs> Bet Boom in full retreat now, knowing they're facing against the primal split with God Strength expiring, no BKBs, no rolling thunder. And Smoke comes into a play. They want to use this AD, Anno Domini, on Drow Ranger. Try to get something oh, yeah. done with it. 
This dragon is massive, and he's gonna jump Sven. Dragon Tail in with the stuns, lift him up. Sven, he's done, he's gone for 90 seconds, and Toronto Tokyo has followed him into the grave. The rest of Bet Boom trying to escape, but GPK running off to the right gets into the base past the force field. I mean, Bet Boom, the timing, pretty impressive here. Roshan about to spawn. They've got high ground ward. Toby walks into vision. Toronto Tokyo and save. The jump from Miera but pure on top of the glacier. Stands her ground, trying to fight. Runs back down. Stampede, a uh, breaking of distance with the hurricane flight. Miero changing target now onto Thompson and Whitemon. DK in a bit of trouble. Has the man to dragon form. Looking to run away, but Thompson has died. The Bruce split. Not doing a whole lot here as the Sven is able to push them all back. Ooh, save look at this damage. Double kill. Whitemon has to buy back. And Bet Boom, they've kept everyone alive. Cyclone on the Sven is going to cause a little issue here for Bet Boom to continue the fight, but he'll just jump forward and kill off the Storm Panda with ease. Oh, far to the left. What's going on there? The Rubicon Clockwork, Gleipnir, and controlled. And they ordered themselves. From Toby, but the Drow Ranger struggling to stick into it now. Finally gets the damage in, and look at Nightfall get shredded by the Drow. Woo! Pure with a right click hits, comes back in hot. Thanks to Whitemon with his buyback. And again, there's DK. Getting into position. Needs to swiftly move into the bottom lane to get these dragon illusions going to work on buildings. Pop the drums and go at it as Thompson dives in by the tier fours. Miero with a blink stop. Trying to save Toronto Tokyo. Success for now in terms of staying alive. The kill. That refresher orb arriving right in the nick of time. Very good for Megas. Team kill off the buildings. Take the tier three. A refresher shot for Tops, I think, there gets another BKB in dragon form. Outlaw save holds the line. The final lane of Barracks top, defended Ooh, by Nightfall Toby. with God Strength BKB. But what does Nightfall do now? He spent everything to defend his buildings and they're still falling. That's going to be Megas. Well, the good thing is Nightfall talked in an interview yesterday about Megas not being as strong, that there is still like 80% chance of them coming back into the game so let's see about that one so brulings gain drunken brawler passive save hiding in the silver edge but Thompson, he's got different ideas a lot of damage on the gpk who disappears miro trying to stampede away they've got the pierce the veil out of save to try and fight here but uh, uh, white mon with a wind waker and the jetpack still gonna die to the right click hits out of save this Morata doing an awful lot, but look at the bottom fight. Nightfall, Ghost Strength, BKB up, but he's being controlled and dealt with by the DK. Nightfall has a TP and call GG. He, he knows it's over. Yeah, the, the creeps are approaching. They're losing tier 4 towers, and Nightfall will try to get some kind of a kill before he dies. Doesn't, doesn't get it, and Tundra may get a victory in the second game, drawing the series. Tower, here we go. Uh, third time's the charm. <laughs> when they ganked him behind the tower and he didn't die since so they tie everything up I... against better boom in that one one best of two in the group stage here and we've got topson from tundra joining us for a quick interview post series first of all topson congrats on that victory at the end in that uh, in that one one draw uh, i just want to ask you uh, changing from sniper in game one to dragonite in game two very different heroes in, in how you play them do you have to like have a mentality shift in kind of preparing for those games mid-series or are you just so used to playing them it's part of your part of your body that you know what to do i mean dk is a pretty i mean they're both pretty simple heroes right you just shoot and click like i mean dk even simpler you just blink and stun like and some like remember to press bkb at some point you know that, that's all you have to do so i think they're kind of easy to play so uh, uh yeah just easy simple heroes yeah, I got, I got a question regarding uh, Pure, because this was the first time when he was playing against his old teammates. Did he say anything about being nervous uh, coming into this series? No, no, no mention. Just uh, the last game, he just had fun laugh about Nightfall, BKB, TP. Yeah, it's, a, it's always fun when he does it. It's a signature move for Nightfall, BKB, TP. Yeah, people call that Nightfall TP pretty much, you know, use that BKB charge to get out of trouble and continue to farm up. But uh, yeah, you guys have been owning lately, managing to qualify for uh, Dream League Season 23, uh, PGL Wallachia Season 1. Uh, team spirits are probably high. Why do you think you guys are doing so hot right now? 
Is it the patch? Is it something different? Uh, I don't know. I guess we're just they're pretty decent. I mean, uh, I mean, we obviously we are playing just qualifiers mo for the most part, so there's not the best teams. Uh, so you know, I mean, we will see when we get to the. I mean, this tournament also, like, I mean, it's uh, more high high skill in a way. There's all the best teams, so it's good to play uh, and these tournaments and. I mean, I guess we'll see how it goes with uh, better against the better teams. And so, uh, yeah. I mean, uh, we're pretty happy with our performances so far, but we will see how it goes. So am I. You guys have been doing great. Who do you think is going to be the toughest opponent that you have to face in this Group B? Liquid is in our group, right? I think Liquid is the uh, yes. toughest opponent. Uh, last time we played them, we were... Not ready for, for Liquid. We got stomped 2-0 and uh, hopefully we can give a better fight this time. Do you think yeah, you're ready I, now? I, can see. Uh, I think we are probably much more prepared for them. Like, uh, yeah, have a better understanding of the meta and yeah, I think hopefully we can, uh, we can beat them. Let's see. Very nice. Uh, so, last question for me. In in game one, uh, you had the you know sniper Nagasar and Slada. Uh, in the draft, you know you kind of had to pick the Slada blind into the last pick of Bet Boom. Did you feel the struggles of Pure's Nagasar in the game? Because from us watching it, we could see Pure was like having difficulties playing out his hero. Was that something you felt in the game? And you know, what was the conversation around kind of activating Pure? Mm. Didn't really have a conversation about it, honestly. It was more just we got caught a couple times by this Magnus. He was kind of a problem for us this game, and them constantly, uh, like they constantly got the jump on us uh, while we probably should have got the jump on them with, because with our lineup. But uh, I mean, we we ended up not really liking the pure also being like the Naga big in the end, like. He regretted picking it uh, after the game. Mm. And, but, uh, yeah, I mean, shit happens. Sometimes you pick heroes that don't really work out and you just learn for the next game. Yeah, kind of unlucky. What can you do? But thanks for joining us. Congrats on that second game victory. Always a pleasure to, you know, watch, watch your sniper, even Dragon Knight. Even if they are simple heroes, you're, you're showing how flashy you can make them, Thompson. Uh, thank you. Thank you. Yeah, see you thanks next so time. Bye-bye. in the future.